Hey, Papa Tess. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be drawing Goofy. I hope you'll follow along with us. So you'll need a pencil, you'll need a black marker to be able to trace along, and then you'll just need some things to color with. That's right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start drawing Goofy. We're gonna start with our pencil sketch. So we wanna make sure we give ourselves some space on the page and we don't go over. So we're gonna do just a tiny little circle of oval, I guess, like this, to mark where his head's gonna be. Kinda keeping it light. I can even pull that off. There we go. <laughs> and then we're gonna kinda come over with a straight line where we're planning out his body before we even get started. And like I'm gonna that. put his hand here. So I'm making sure that I don't go off the page. Mine's gonna, mine's gonna be right on the edge. There you go. All right. And then I'm gonna have a hand come up here. His body's gonna kinda lean this way. Goofy, my Goofy's been eating a little bit more. <laughs> it's okay, this is just a sketch. We'll come back in detail and make it better. So he has his leg kind of come up rounded like this and come back in. Okay. It's almost like the letter A. Okay. And then up, kind of a swoosh up is the foot. And then I'm on, not doing so bad so far. On this side, you're gonna come curve in, and then we're gonna curve back out with the foot like that. There. Now we're gonna use this like a map. This is our plan. So we're gonna come back, and we're gonna start with Goofy's eyes. I think that's a good landmark to start. So we're gonna do kind of this rounded M shape. Okay. And then close that off with a line. We'll do two pupils there. Can I go kind of, am I going kind of darker on these or am I still just Oh, it's okay. I, I sketch a little lighter just so I can erase. Okay. Because this is just like our trial and error as we're discovering this drawing. But you can go dark. We're going to do cheeks. Okay. And after that, we'll do two round lumps coming out. This is the top of his mouth. Uh -oh. And then a nose right here. I'm falling apart. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking uh -oh. good. Looks it's like looking he... good. You're getting it. <laughs> it looks like his face got stung by a bee. You might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the teeth. Are you caught up with me? Yeah, uh, you're good. Kind of. <laughs> the teeth. And then a half circle underneath his teeth. Second one for his bottom lip. Good. And then inside, we're gonna draw the tongue like that. Okay, it's great. We're gonna do two tiny lines for his neck coming down. Okay. And then a rounded line for the top of his collar. Come down around there. Another one that's gonna go all the way back up around to underneath his chin. Pressure's really starting to come on now. <laughs> all right. You got this. You're doing great. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna give a rounded shape by that collar right there for his shoulder. Okay. One over here, just a little line we're gonna leave as a landmark and come back to. Now let's come back to the top of his head and finish his head. So we're gonna do another kind of rounded M shape above his eyes. This is the top of his head. I'm seeing it come together. Now, his hat, kind of an oval shape sitting on top with two lines attaching it to the head. Okay. 
We'll do that for the middle of the hack. And then this kind of end of bone shape, too rounded. Almost like a half of a heart or something. Yeah. Okay. And that's it for the hat. Another half. Good job. All right. Just do a, a few hairs just coming out of the top of his head. Try to make them different lengths. Okay. And now his ears from the side of the head, and we're gonna do kind of an S curve. Wanna make sure that it's that S shape. And it's gonna come all the way down past that shoulder we did and cross into the arm. Okay. And then back up with another S curve. Uh. We'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure you get in that nice S. ear on this side but that's okay it looks great okay while we're here on this side we're gonna finish this arm have a line go up to the ear have it continue up come down a little further and start that arm oh oops you're good I'm gonna have to go through the ear that's okay draw the sleeve it's a lot like the collar where we're gonna do a rounded line and then a line coming in through like that you're losing me where am I where am I what am I missing right now no it looks good <laughs> on, the, on the bottom you're gonna come up and just kind of loop in like I'll that. let this connect it back to this part right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Okay. We're gonna do another rounded line like that. Okay. Oh, we're kind of making the sleeves. Right there. The sleeve rolls right now. Okay, I see. Right, this is the end of the glove. And then we're gonna do that, like a wide M. Okay. And this is gonna curve up into a thumb. That? Yep, looks great. And then have the, the fingers coming out. We want the line to kind of curve down a little bit. It's not a straight line, it's bowed. Okay. And then we'll do a finger underneath that. Like that. And then this finger right here. Like that. And it comes all the way back down to the, the wrist end of the glove. Man. This is why they only have four fingers. I wouldn't be able to do another. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side now. So it's the same design. The arms are going to come out. We're going to do the bottom half of the arm. And then the sleeve, these rounded shapes, could be one. And then do another one where the line comes in a little bit. Okay. Like that. And then one more for the glove. Mostly there. That looks good. <laughs> and then we're gonna come up with a thumb. Like that. I'm getting close to the edge. So you might have to... I might lose, <laughs> you might lose some fingers on mine. You're gonna have to curve your hand <laughs> down maybe a little bit more than me. Okay. I'm gonna come out, you can curve down and draw a finger. Oh, we saved it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Another one like this.
We're gonna put a line right here for his palm. Okay. Okay. Now as we go down his body, we're gonna add this vest. So coming out from his shoulder, we're gonna do a line, end right there. Come back up. Remember the S curves. We're gonna do an S curve. And then another S curve up and down in, like that. So around the other line that we already have. Yep. Okay. Now on this side, another S curve. Like that. and we'll connect with a rounded line into his body. Okay. Do his body now there. Yeah, he's actually, he's actually coming together. It's, it's coming together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another S curve at the bottom here. Going down and back up. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do a little line and loop down and then the S curve down around to the back. Okay, around S curve. Just short of the other line. That's great, yep. And then from the back a little bump okay. and that line underneath will just connect like that. Good job. <laughs> Halfway there. <laughs> Most of the way. Gotta finish the legs now. <laughs> so we're gonna come right underneath that bottom of the shirt and we're gonna do that kind of rounded A shape all the way around back down. Oh I see, okay. Now we're kind of falling out the knee. So here we're gonna do a straight line, a little bit of an angle towards uh -oh. the other line here. I may, have, I may have pulled that in a little close. A little bit more. Give myself some more room. I think. <laughs> Looks great. Okay. And then here we're gonna go up and do an oval right here. Half an oval. We'll, we don't want to close it quite yet. Okay. And we'll do another line above that for the cuff of his pants. And here we have his leg coming out. At the top of his shoe, it's a rounded shape like his glove. Shape. And fill that in. Okay, we'll do one bump there. And we're gonna go all the way up and around right here and stop. So we're gonna do an angled straight line. Okay. Another angled straight line. Angled straight line. Close that little end off. We're gonna go a line right from that one and a line right there as oh. well. See what I'm doing. Back. You need to be a little closer on that. Otherwise, Goofy's gonna be wearing high heels. <laughs> mine. Well, okay. There we go. Nice. And then we'll loop around to close off that shape, and that's the heel of his shoe. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay. Now, let's come back here, about right there at that spot, and we're gonna go. Here into the middle. I'll have another line coming just a little bit back behind. And go all the way down right there. And okay. then we'll just have one big long line going all the way, kind of curves in to give a tighter ankle there at the end. Almost That's like that? Yep. Then we'll do two lines for the cuff.
a little leg coming out. Just two little lines. Oh, okay. A line right there. And then we're gonna go around like that. Create a donut shape around his ankle. Okay. A little line out. A little bump. Bump? Mm, big bump. Go all the way around. And loops, closes right there. Just behind the, the donut. Yeah. Okay. We missed one little step. We're gonna come back up here to this shoe and we're gonna draw the sole of his shoe. Just one line right like that. And just kind of curve it right there. Yep. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, down at the bottom, we're gonna add this sole. So at the end, just a little space there at the end of the shoe, like a long teardrop shape. And then a little triangle here for his heel. So let's come back up to his face. Let's make sure mine is, yours is darker than mine, but I'm just gonna kind of darken the lines a bit. And darken the eyes. And just get my sketch all nice and finished. And Goofy's face is still a little more deformed than yours, but he's looking happy still. It's looking great. <laughs> Okay, and there we have our Goofy sketch. Nice. Now it is time to, I'm wondering, should we ink it? Because the lines are so thin, it might be kind of like fat lines. Oh no, it works. Let's ink it. So should I go through and erase extra lines like these? Yeah, or? if you want to clean up your lines a little bit, we can clean up. I ended up with a pretty big extra one. Yeah, let's clean up our drawing. On the sides. A little easier to find where he is now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's take our Sharpie. And all you have to do now is follow the lines. So I'm gonna start with the face. Fill in the pupils and just follow the lines all the way around. This is the part I can definitely do. I'm trying to not make my lines too thick. If you press really hard, it gets kind of thick lines that might not look so good. Okay. I'm going to um, Fill in this black part of Goofy's face, too. Get some of these hairs filled in. How's it coming? It's it's coming. Got his uh, his head's almost all the way filled in. Good job. Now I'm moving on to his collar right now. Okay. Should I just keep going? Just do all oh, yeah. of it? Just keep going. I'll catch up to you. I'm moving back up to the hat. <laughs> I actually didn't fill in the ears, so I I can get those filled in.
This is where all the hard work starts to pay off. <laughs> We're seeing Goofy come to life. <laughs> Challenge just filling in these sleeve lines. Oh, wait, hold on, we're actually not doing too bad. You're getting it. Nice. Okay. I'm going to fill in that vest too. Do it black. Job. I think I was supposed to leave a little space, but. No, you're good. Looks great. Then we'll hop over to the other side of the vest and do that one too while we're here. at this point. Oh no, I'm keeping up with you. I Just... keep looking over at you to see how <laughs> You go however fast you need to and I'll just follow. <laughs> Man, you're going fast. <laughs> this yeah. is this is the part I've always been good at, just following the lines. <laughs> Making a goofy out of thin air, not not as much. But. Got it? Oh, you no. got one more shoot. Looks like it wasn't going as fast as we thought it was. <laughs> Caught up. Okay. Wow. Okay, looks awesome. There we have our Goofy. So now, let's give it him some color. Get rid of some of these. Now I can really see where the extra lines are. All right, where do we start? Let's do it. Um, however you want to. We have some markers. If you see anything over here you want, you can ask and I can pass it over. We have some colored pencils. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this. Let's go for it. Nice bright green. I'm gonna start with his shirt. Okay. Too bright, we're it's a little bit. Okay. 
That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Coloring is satisfying. <laughs> For sure. Maybe a little bit more black on this part. Now I'm really starting to see Goofy. It's coming this alive. One. Try this one out for the color of his face. Maybe this one instead. Oh, I forgot to make his nose black, didn't I? Put that little shine on his nose. Wow. Now we're ready. I'm gonna go off course. Maybe I'll give him a maybe I'll give him a green shirt. <laughs> Shake things up a little bit. Let's go for it. Heck, let's do that. Let's do the purple one. Give him a purple shirt. I think I've seen Goofy with a green shirt before, but maybe not a purple one. Well, this is something that never you'll probably see this in the next movie he's in. <laughs> never been done. Never been done. This is Goofy's first. <laughs> Oh, you're doing the colored pencils and the marker. Yeah. That's how you make it look really nice. A little mixed media over here. <laughs> I'm not quite on that level. I'll, uh, I'll stick to the marker. We'll get you there. <laughs> Bubba is here to help. <laughs> yeah, I need a lot of a lot of Bubba before I'm ready. <laughs> this part black again. His neck. Kind of liking the the purple shirt, Goofy. It's working out. This is midnight, Goofy. <laughs> midnight Goof. <laughs> That's a movie title for you, right there. <laughs> Extreme Goofy Midnight. <laughs> Problem is, if I do the purple shirt, I might not be able to do the blue pants. Oh, well, I don't know. That might still work. Yeah, I think I might. Good. I might have gotten myself into a corner now <laughs> where I have to do the pants a different color too. You made a goof. That's <laughs> <laughs> what Goofy himself would have done. <laughs> Better hurry and catch up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm way behind. <laughs> now I'm just gonna be messing with colors. Yeah, do some more, do some more shading. <laughs> While I'm waiting for you. <clears throat> you can also uh, feel free to start helping out on mine if you want. <laughs> the, sh the shoes will be perfectly shaded and the rest will, <laughs> will be done by me. It's looking good. I'll do the, yeah, we'll stick with the blue for the pants. Yeah, that's gonna look kinda cool. I 
Oh, that was my problem. I had a really skinny marker doing all the shirt. Yeah. Added a little extra time to it. here and then that's gonna end up being black. Do some blue there. Okay, I'll go back with my marker and get his legs. Just about there. All right, I think that's. I think we have it. I think that's a wrap for mine. Wonder who made which. <laughs> and there we have Goofy. Yeah. You did a really good job following along today, Kason. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love Midnight Goofy. <laughs> he looks great. I hope you guys will come back really soon and draw more characters with us. Bye. See you guys. Please make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. This helps YouTube continue to share our videos so that more kids around the world can continue to learn how to draw with Bubba. Thank you! Big Box Studios.